Hey guys, so today I am finally getting around to trying out the Maybelline and Puma collaboration. I have all the products in here, so if you guys are curious to see what they are, how they apply, and what I think, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's open this up and see what we have inside. Let's start off with this Cheek Duo Stick. I haven't opened any of these yet, so I don't know how they're gonna perform, what they're going to look like. I only have cream products on my face. I'm trying the Alginist um, foundation and concealer today. And so I just have cream products on. So let's see what this looks like. It is in the shade 07 Hustle and Burn. It says apply color side on skin, use gloss side on top or on its own. And that's all it really says. So let's check out these two colors. Okay, so there's the gloss. It's like a, I mean, here's the blush. It's like a berry tone. And then here is the gloss. It's like a, I would say like a white pearlescent finish. So I am actually not going to put this directly on the face. I find that that wipes things off underneath. I like to use my sponge and kind of pick up the blush product this way and then apply. You can see the color already. So here is the blush shade. It's a little bit more pinky berry tone than I go for. But if that's a shade that you enjoy, it's, it's so far it's a nice formula. It's applying well. Okay, so that's pretty. I don't have any cream bronzer on yet, so it's just the blush on my face. And it already gives me like a nice glow. But I'm going to go ahead and head over to the other side of my sponge and try to pick up this gloss side and see what it looks like on the face applied with a sponge. Can you guys see that kind of burst of glow right here? So this is the natural side with just the blush. You can already see it's pretty glossy. But on this side, it's got like an added kind of pearly sheen to the top, which is nice. I'm gonna try it on the Cupid's bow as well. Try applying it with my finger here. So it's like a healthy shine. So I like that. If you're not into powder products and you like to leave your face glossy, this would be a nice product for you. I'm gonna try to not powder today and see how well everything kind of lasts. So here is the blush and the highlight stick. So far I think this is pretty nice. I wonder how it would work on top of powdered face. I will try that some other day and report back and let you guys know. Um, as of right now, just cream products. It is A-OK -okay in my book. Let me add a little cream bronzer just so I don't look quite so dead and we'll be back to try the other products. Just a sec. Okay, so I added a little bit of the Tyra Beauty Sculpt in a stick. It's like a nice kind of neutral cream bronzer. I really enjoy that. Next, I'm dying to try this highlight. This is the number eight knockout. Their Master Chrome highlights have been some of my favorite. I particularly love the rose gold and the original gold one. This one, it looks like it's like a pink violet gold, almost like a trichrome right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but like straight on, it looks gold. And then as you turn, it's like slightly pink and slightly violet. It's hard to explain. So I don't know how it will work on my skin tone, but we're gonna give it a try. I see pinky purple, so we will see what it looks like on top of this one. Okay, on this side, I'm definitely seeing that gold shade right here. And then right as I'm turning, I'm seeing like a little bit of violet. And straight on, I'm not sure if I'm seeing anything. So from the side, it's a nice gold shade. Straight on, I'm not sure that I'm seeing much. Let me try a little on the Cupid's bow, see what I see here. Okay, I'm just seeing gold straight on here, so when the light hits it, it's gold. But turning the other directions, you get like a slight violet shift. It's interesting, let's try it over here. Okay, so straight on, I am definitely seeing like a purpley gray shadow. Not sure if you can see it on film, 
But in person, I'm definitely seeing like this violet E stripe here, straight on. So when I turn to the side, it looks beautiful and gold, but straight on, I'm getting like purpley gray vibes. So it's not the right undertone for my skin tone, but if you have a deeper skin tone, you would probably really enjoy this. I'm just not personally loving the straight on gray purple kind of cast that it's giving my cheekbones. So for me, while it's beautiful, I would not be using this one as a highlight for my skin tone. Next up, we have the liquid lipsticks. These are the Superstay Matte Inks, and I believe these are new shades. Well, so let's start with swatches of these. Start with number nine. This one is Unapologetic. This is that orangey tone one. Ooh, it's like a brownish orange. Number 10, Epic, which is like that rosy pink one. Number 11, Fearless, is that like burgundy shade. Number 12, Unstoppable, is like the deep purple, almost like a black purple it looked like. It's a very, very deep purple shade. No, this was the black purple. This one's just a deep purple. 13, Fierce, is the black purple. So they're very pigmented. They are opaque. You're gonna get full coverage color with these products. Now, I don't know what I'm doing on the eyes yet, so I think I just wanna go kind of soft and subtle on the lips. I'm gonna go with number 10, Epic. And I already know I like the formula of these matte lip inks. They do stay a little bit tacky throughout the day, not overly so, but if that's something that bothers you, just something to keep in mind. It's a really pretty color, nice and opaque, easy to use. It has a pointed doe foot applicator, very easy to apply. Next up, we have these shadow duos. It says matte and metallic eye duo stick. I have two, three, four, and five here. So we'll start off with some swatches. This looks like the shimmer side. It's like a shimmery light purple that's really pretty. And I'm guessing this is the matte side, like a matte gray purple. The colors seem pretty consistent with this line. Like you've got like your grayish purples here. You've got your grayish purples here. You've got your rosy tones here. You've got rosy tones here. This one is number four, goals and courage. So it looks like your matte is a black tone. Ooh, that's nice. And your shimmer is like a berry tone. That's pretty. We have the orangey lip and we've got the orangey shadow. This one's number five, heat and flash, cute. The matte looks to be like a matte, is that like a brownish purple, a purple brown? And then the shimmer looks like a beautiful bronzy shade. Ooh, yes. And then we have kind of like our deep gray tone and over here we've got our gray tone shadow. This one's number three, warrior and flow. Let's see, this one is the matte, again, it's like a gray with a hint of purple in it. And the metallic seems almost like just this is a deeper version of this one. Now, what do we want to play with? That is the question. Since I'm already doing the berry tones, let's go with this berry tone one today. And we'll see if we can come up with like a simple look using these. We're just gonna take this berry tone one and kind of smudge it all over the lid. How that was super duper easy, so I'm gonna now smudge some on the lower lash line as well.
Really easy, smoky burgundy look, and then I'm gonna add just a touch of black to the outer corner here. Okay, that's one of the easiest, fastest, smoky eyes I've ever done, and that was so easy. And it's beautiful. I mean, I'll be curious to see how long it lasts without smudging, but I mean, it has a beautiful color on the lid. The black was the perfect complement to that color. So I think that these are gonna be really nice for that like fast summer makeup days when I just wanna like do something on the lid and run out the door. So now let's check out the last product from the Maybelline and Puma collection. It is their mascara. I don't know if this is a brand new wand, a brand new formula. I'm assuming it is since the other products are all new shades. So let's see what this wand looks like. Okay, it's like a tapered brush style wand, which I'm not mad at. It smells like a little chemically, so mm, can't fault it for that. All right, for one coat, it's giving me nice, like, wispy lashes. It got the lashes all the way in the inner corner of my eye, all the way to the outer corner. It's not really thickening to add like much intensity to the lashes, it's just making them look like l nice and fluttery. So let's try a second coat. All right, the second coat is definitely helping to build up the intensity of the lashes, but it is flicking to the lid quite a bit. So just keep that in mind. It's a pretty wet formula. So far, I'm liking it. Now let's try the lower lash line. This is what it looks like though. Two coats. Lower lash line, you can see I got a chunk of it on my skin. Like I said, it's a, it's a pretty wet formula. I wonder if it will smudge to my under eye area because I did not set with powder today. Um, I didn't feel like the foundation and the concealer needed to be set. So this is one eye done. Let's try the other eye. Okay, so both eyes are done. I do have some significant flicks of mascara to the skin. Like I said, it's a bit of a wet formula, so just be careful if you have a problem with mascara flicking to your lid. Perhaps you want to have a clean blending brush handy to kind of wipe away any excess mascara once it dries. But I think that this looks really nice. I got really separated black lashes. It didn't really do much for thickening them, like to make them look fuller than they are. It separated them and coated them, but it didn't make them look thicker root to tips. So it's a good mascara. Is it my favorite one from Maybelline? No, I still love the Total Temptation Mascara. Um, there are a couple other ones that I'm drawing a blank on right now that I loved. Oh, the Gigi Hadid Fiber Mascara. I also loved that one. So it's a good mascara. If you have a problem with reaching the lashes on the inside, this was a nice shaped wand, so I do like that. So here is the finished look using the Maybelline and Puma collection. Rundown of the products. I surprisingly like this blush and gloss duo stick. I feel like it gave my skin a nice glow. I've been really into kind of more dewy skin uh, cream products lately, so I really like this one. I would prefer if it was a little bit less berry tone and a little bit more neutral, but I like the formula. I like the way it applied, and I actually like the way that the gloss made my skin kind of dewy and healthy looking, so I like this one. The highlight, while it's an amazing formula, the tone on me just doesn't work because you can kind of see the grayish purple undertones as I'm turning my hand away from the light. And that's kind of what I'm seeing in person. Looking straight on, I'm seeing kind of gray purple on my cheeks, which is not the most flattering. So if you have a deeper skin tone, I feel like you would really like this. Formula is amazing. Packaging is beautiful and amazing. Just the color is not for me.
That's all I'm saying. Okay, moving on to the matte lip inks. Same formula that I love from them. Really pretty range of colors. I was looking for a lipstick like this last fall and I had a hard time finding one that was like a mixture between like a brown, a mustard. This is like a perfect fall lipstick color and I'm so excited to use this come fall. These are also beautiful. I probably won't be reaching for the deep ones. Those just aren't my particular colors, but I think the formula is amazing. I like that they're a little bit smaller, so they're easier to put in like a purse or a travel bag. So definitely thumbs up on packaging and formula and color selection. These are beautiful. The cream shadow duos. I am not usually a cream shadow person, but seeing how easily this look came together, I may have to rethink that position. Um, the colors are really nice. They're opaque. They glided on easily. They blended out easily and beautifully. And finally, we have the mascara. I really liked the mascara. I wish it gave me a little bit more thickness to the lashes. They're still a little bit wispy for my taste, but perhaps another coat or two would do the trick. But then we're talking three and four coats of mascara, which is a little excessive even for me. Um, so I think that they're really pretty and wispy and fanned out and fluttery. Um, do I have mascaras that do a little bit more for lengthening and kind of thickening the lashes? I do, but I think it's a good mascara. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing swatches and seeing me try on the products from this collab with Puma and Maybelline. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.